have an American Girl in this paper cover box. She is from Mercari, and I was not planning on getting her, but a good deal came my way. I did not need this doll, but I had to have her. So I will explain more once I have her open. The Girl of the Year 2017, but not really. She was a contemporary character that was available in 2017 and 2018. She is so pretty. And she came with her ears pierced. And she also has her spotlight outfit, which is these adorable little boots. And this cute little skirt and this beautiful lacy top and the headband and she has um, the rest of the earring set that she's wearing so they made a special earring set I think they're the noteworthy sets for her and Gabriella to share so exciting Oh, she's beautiful. The pictures weren't the best, so I got Tenny in her whole meat outfit minus underwear, plus this whole spare outfit. Plus, she already had her ears pierced and um, came with a complete pack of earrings for $65. That was including the tax, including the shipping. And that was a really good deal. Um, just for a frame of reference, my Girl of the Year 2001 Lindsay, who I got at the flea market, was $75. And she just had her meat outfit and was very moldy and needed a lot of work. So you can find some really great deals online. I know a lot of times people feel discouraged because when you first like check eBay or Mercari, you get discouraged by all of the expensive prices that people are asking for things and the crazy bidding wars that take place. But I've like never overpaid for any of my American Girl dolls that I've bought online. It's all just a matter of checking often and having a price in mind that you want to pay and um, catching a good opportunity on one of those occasions. It's not all just luck. You have to make sure you check regularly um, because if you're not, you're not going to find a good deal. And a lot of people will be like, oh, you're so lucky that you've got X, Y, and Z doll for this and that price, but it's because I kept checking. She actually was originally, the seller was asking 65 for her, plus tax and shipping, but then I guess they were having trouble selling her and they wanted to get rid of her quickly. I feel like at some point I read on their like about page that they wanted to get money for Monster High dolls. I didn't see that when I actually went back to buy her because I had kept my eye on her for a few days, but yeah, um, if so, I've gotten Bratz dolls really cheap for that reason um, because people wanted to buy Monster Idols. So I'm so excited to have her. I'm going to give her a bath. I'm not going to do a whole transformation video, but I will uh, include some clips here if you're interested. I love Tenny. She's so cute. It's funny because she's one of those dolls that like I never like planned to buy but there was always that joke when I'd see good deals for her online or when we were at Kohl's and I saw Tenny at Kohl's one time and that was my first time ever seeing an American Girl doll in a physical store location besides the American Girl place because they didn't used to carry American Girls at places like Kohl's or Barnes and Noble. Um, I was very excited and I was like oh she was on sale I'd buy her. So it's really cool having her. She's so cute. And I think her outfits are going to look really good on some of my other dolls. So let's get to washing her up so I can photograph her and stuff tomorrow.
I was impatient. Her body's still like a teensy <coughs> bit damp, but I'm like, I want her back together. I want to meet my Jenny. Well, I mean, we met, but. She's going to make a second first impression. I haven't even introduced her to everybody yet. Are you on your wheel, sir? Get back on the wheel. Come on, cute. show YouTube. Show YouTube using your wheel. Show the little how to do wheel. <laughs> And then just have to cut off the excess. Da -da -da -da. This is Tenny in her spotlight outfit. She looks so cute. This is an adorable ensemble. I love the little glittery boots. And this tutu and the lace top is wonderful quality. So this is Tenny's bracelet I made. This is Tenny, all of my um, girl of the year and contemporary dolls have them and some of my historicals too, like Kanani's over here. I made her these bird earrings, like the songbird on her shirt. With little, um, I had these pearly ones that I got at Walmart in different sizes in the 98 cent bags, and then there's actual like fake pearls too. I love her, she's got the cutest little freckles and I love her light brown eyes. I don't have many dolls with the blonde hair and um, brown eye combo, just Julie. And Julie has like the dark brown eyes and Tenny has these really cool eyebrows and her freckles are um, asymmetrical, like she's got this one above her lip and then this is how her hair turned out. I um, did roller set it. I didn't want it to be like super, super curly or anything, but I wanted the ends to have like a nice flip because it gives them more body. Um, I did, after I like touched up all the little bumps with the flat iron that were left from the clips, I did condition her again because she had like kind of a weird hair texture. It felt not wiry and dry but like fuzzy and dry kind of like my Caroline's hair did so I put a lot of conditioner in and um, rinsed it out and I feel like that gave her hair more uh, like weight to it and it feels a lot sleeker and she smells amazing and obviously I like put more diluted gel in but I think that the ends of her hair turned out pretty nicely I'm still getting used to roller setting. This is my only my third one. I did Kanani's over here actually. Kanani was the second one I did and you can see she's little flippies at the bottom. I did not want Kanani to have like really curly hair because of how long it is. Dun -dun -dun -dun. This is Tenny in her little neat outfit. I love this. I like the layers because um I could use the top and the vest with other things. I didn't soak this skirt long when I washed it because you have to be careful with the faux leather because over time it does peel even if you don't wash it like I have doll clothes from 20 years ago that are the same material that peel so you have to be mindful of that but I wanted to wash it because she was a little dirty and obviously she came out in 2017 so my doll does not have the perma panties um, some tiny dolls did but she didn't have her removable underwear which are just plain light pink with white trim like what Gabriella has and Corinne lots like of the the new dolls I'll come with those underwear but these are from the ready to fun outfit I got these at a consignment store last year um it's the same store I got my Felicity doll named Elizabeth um named Emerald from and I bought a bunch of random American girl scraps and I knew hoarding underwear would come in handy so Tenny has panties and I made these little earrings these are uh, little like fake rocks and then some other beads that complement the colors of her outfit. And then these butterfly clips, I got these on Amazon for I think $12. And um, they're really handy for styling American girl hair specifically, but you can use them on other dolls. I used to have a bunch of these as a kid. My mom would put in my hair back in like the early 2000s and late 90s when this was really popular. And I don't know what happened to all my childhood ones. I remember used to use them on my horses all the time back then so I don't know if maybe they broke or I only have a few but I bought these recently and there's a hundred pieces here and you get enough of each color to 
use in a more intricate hairstyle or like what I did with Penny, I mixed a couple different colors that match her outfit just because she has this really heavy side parting. But yeah, I think she's so cute and I love her. And well, not 100% happy with like how the roller set came out. I still need a lot of practice and I'm very picky with curly doll hair, which is one of the reasons why I usually boil wash my fashion dolls hair straight. I think it looks a lot better than when I got her. It doesn't feel all like weird and wiry and like fuzzy. She's so cute. I love how unique she is. And she's kind of got like a little bit of an angry eyebrow thing going on, which is really quirky. And oh, I forgot to mention, she has these cool hands. You can see they look different than regular American girls. I wish I hadn't put Kanani away, but because um, she can hold a special pick for when she plays her guitar. So adorable. I love her. So if you want to see pictures of Tenny or Tenny's things, free to check out my Flickr. You don't need a Flickr to view my photos. Um, she's going to be in my Girl of the Year album. So I don't know when I'm going to upload this video because I'm filming it in January of 2023, but it could go up later than that. So she might not be like on the first page of my Flickr. So you might have to go look in the albums if you're interested. And um, until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life. Penny. I'm Tanny. I'm new around here. You must be Miss Sage. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, Bo. Aren't you some kind of country I'm... singer? Yes, I am. I'm famous. Would you like an autograph? I don't have a pen, but I can sign your helmet. Or... I want your autograph. Like, how full are you so far you? You're fashion country. Do you know what fashion country fashion is? Fashion country. Fashion country. Real country girls. Real country girls? We muck stalls. We brush horses. I don't see. I have people for that when I ride my horse for my music videos. No, real, real country girls aren't afraid to get dirty. You're fashion country. You're no. phony country. You're using country to sell records. <laughs> Darling, why well, I think you really need to go see one of them therapists. You seem to have anger issues. You're very mad. Anger you issues? You like your hair. No, you need to see a therapist because you have personality issues. Oh, you like personality? I've heard I'm very no. charismatic. No, you're a poser. A poser? Yeah. Pretending you like horses to sell records. It's I fake. I have to tell you this, but you aren't the first girl of the year to like horses. I recall someone named uh, Nikki Fleming. I don't know her. She doesn't live around right here. Not yet. I'd be shaking in your beautiful embroidered American girl boots if I was you. Oh, well, I hear that a thousand splendid dolls has an addiction to girl of the years. Yeah, well that's true. I mean that Kanani was here like less than a month after I got here, but still. I don't mind her, I'm not here, you're all fake. At least Kanani has her own theme. Oh my. Well, I just don't have time for your anger. I'm gonna hit you with the shovel if you don't get out of here. Anger gives you wrinkles. Give me back my cowgirl hat and get out of here. <laughs> well, I best be going. I have a concert. Yeah, you best be going. <laughs> Would you like tickets? No, I don't want tickets! Well, Alright. Get out!